Kuf for uh, inviting me and good evening for everyone. Uh, <clears throat> yes, exactly. As as the guest said before, some of the some of the more important opinions to be made in terms of the resort for uh, or how to address the crimes being committed in Palestine have been uh, expressed by the guests. But I want to comment on some of the remarks made, especially by Mr. Bruce Delval. Uh, Palestine was recognized as a state, an observer state, but a state by the United Nations General Assembly in December 2012. So the questions of statehood is no longer uh, being, um, uh, you know, ad uh, raised when it comes to Palestine um, uh, joining the ICC and ratifying the Rome Statute. The ICC uh, did not only target African countries, they mainly targeted African countries, but they also opened investigation in Georgia, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, Philippines, Venezuela, and finally Ukraine. They even issued a warrant of arrest against the Russian president last year, Putin, and a minister in his or, or uh, advisor in his cabinet. Uh, so, um, and, and I remind you that the United States administration of Trump issue, imposed sanctions on officials in ICC, including judges, when the investigation in Afghanistan was opened because it meant that crimes committed also by the American forces in Afghanistan would be uh, investigated by the ICC. It's soon to say that the ICC, in my opinion, failed when it comes to addressing the crimes being committed in Palestine because it's relatively a young institution and under a lot of political pressure, as I mentioned, sanctions was, was imposed by the most powerful country in the world against individuals in this institution. Uh, but the pressure, in my opinion, in terms of lobbying, especially lobbying by state parties to the ICC should be made to uh, push the prosecutor to move forward with the investigation that was initiated exactly two and a half years in March 2021 in order to request issuing warrants of arrest against uh, senior Israeli officials, especially the prime minister and the minister of defense, who made uh, some of the most terrible statements in terms of racism and genocidal intent during the military operation against the people of Gaza. Universal jurisdiction of in national tribunals is important, but it has limited effect since this, the jurisdiction of these national tribunals are limited to only uh, the countries that have bilater bilateral extradition treaties. Therefore, the ICC remain the most important uh, judicial result to address the crimes of international nature in general and the crimes being committed in Palestine. When it comes to the nature of the crimes being committed in Palestine, um, the current military operation um, amount, in my opinion, and in the opinion of a lot of legal experts uh, and UN experts to genocide crimes and war crimes uh, because not only it has openly targeted civilians, uh, hospitals, institutions that are protected by international law, but also because the special intent, which is required for a very serious crime, like the crime of genocide, was demonstrated in the speeches of the uh, Israeli officials who attempted to dehumanize the Palestinian people by calling them inhuman or human animals. And this intent was also demonstrated by the uh, siege on Gaza, the siege on over 2 million civilians by emphasizing on collective damage, rather than targeting precise military bases by depriving these 2 million civilians from food, water, shelter, medical aid, fuel, and by targeting also the UN agencies that normally ensure these needs. 67, I think 67 is the number of the UNRWA um, uh, buildings that were targeted during the military operation in Palestine. Also, the, tar the, the direct targeting of media workers, over 46 media workers were killed, three are still missing, two other dozens were either injured or arrested. I think it's safe to say that the Israeli regime is an outlaw regime. It is on in the top of the list of the countries that have refrained from complying with United Nations 
security resolution since 1967 at least, it has also failed to comply with a decision issued by the International Court of Justice in 2004 regarding the apartheid wall and the ongoing settle illegal settlements. Israeli ambassador uh, even uh, accused the United Nations General Security only a few days ago of, of losing morality and of justifying terrorism simply because the United Nations General Secret Secretary condemned uh, and criticized Israel for violating international United Nations treaties. I agree with what one of your guests said that all UN states have the obligation to ensure commitment to the United Nations treaties, including the Geneva treaties, specifically in terms of protecting civilians in armed conflict and in terms of committing and complying with the United Nations Security Council resolutions. Um, and it's, it's, it's very clear now that there's a, dub, a double standard policy um, um, adopted by uh, at least the veto holders among the United uh, Nations Security Council um, members, because uh, not only these states have dealt differently with other crimes being committed in other places of the world, like in Ukraine, but because also they did not do any action to force uh, Israel to come to comply with previous United Nations resolutions. Only U.S. has blocked over 30, I'm sorry, nearly 60 resolutions that criticize Israel atrocities in the last 50 years. Um, I believe that major countries like the U.S. that are supporting impunity of per perpetrators of genocide crimes, apartheid crimes, mass killing of children, mass persecution, and forcible transfer of millions of civilians are also responsible to uh, and liable to these crimes. Um, I think that what needs to be done is to really try to um, put pressure by the countries that, by the government that really want to put an end to these atrocities to, to, to make a lobby maybe. Um, also, this is something that is being done currently by international human rights organizations and lawyers and to address uh, and speak directly to the prosecutor of the ICC in order to um, take action in uh, requesting in opening the opening of a specific case and to uh, issue warrants of arrest against specific seniors especially in crimes like the apartheid crime that does not require field investigation. The apartheid crime is an ongoing crime in Palestine for at least, for 75 years. And this, this crime is, is simply um, proven by the uh, laws of Israel, the regulations, the policies being adopted uh, officially and openly by the uh, government of Israel. So um, this is in brief my opinion when it comes to to, I, I'm, well, I can. I, I wanted to quote uh, over ten types of crimes, of war crimes, and war and genocide crimes being committed cu currently in Gaza. But I think all your guests know uh, what the Rome Statute and the Geneva Treaty um, provide in this meaning. So.